Our first guest today is Kelly Koval, clinical nurse educator at Novant Health Brunswick Medical Center. Welcome to our show today, Kelly. Thank you, June. Nice to be here. It's very nice to have you. And um, to start off with, um, how long have you been in the area? We, my family of five, we came from California and we landed in North Carolina in July of last year. Wow. All the way from California. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> what brought you here, Kelly? Well, there was this opportunity for a women's mm -hmm. and children's wellness um, position and I jumped on it. And so we packed up and drove the 3,000 miles <laughs> and and showed up we, in Brunswick County. And here you are. Here I am. <laughs> well, let's, um, let's let our viewers get to know you a little bit better. Tell me a little bit about your education and your background. Okay, well, I've been an RN for 12 years. Uh -huh. I have my master's degree in nursing education. Um, during that 12 years, I was a labor and delivery nurse, a pediatric nurse, and then um, I taught for community college for their nursing program. Wow, lots of education. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Well, let's talk about your role at Brunswick Medical Center. Okay. What is it that you do at the medical center? So my official title is <laughs> the Women's and Children's Community Outreach Educator. Wow. Um, yeah, quite the lengthy. That's a big title. It is a big title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and what our main focus is is to really we have three goals that we're trying to meet and we're trying to educate the community on those goals. Let's talk about um, what's offered in the Women's Services Department at Brunswick Medical Center. Oh, it's a beautiful service line and having come from California, I have seen a lot and I can say it's hands down one of the most gorgeous units I've seen. Wow. But um, it really starts in the OB office and then from there we've streamlined it so they get all of the information they need and then they come on our unit and we do offer um, testing if we need to do testing prior to the baby being born. Mm -hmm. We have labor and delivery and then they stay in the same room and they have their postpartum and then they get discharged home. That's awesome. It is a great setup. Sounds like it must be a beautiful place, it the is way you describe it. It is beautiful. Wow. Well, I probably won't have the opportunity to see that, but maybe <laughs> I'll visit. You can come visit. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, today we wanted to specifically learn more about the Novant Health Foundation Brunswick Medical Center's Women's and Children's Wellness Outreach Initiative, and that is a mouthful. It is. First of all, what is the initiative? So the initiative's main focus is to um, provide education on three, based on three factors. And right. those three factors are to try to increase breastfeeding rates, okay. to decrease childhood obesity, and to decrease smoking cessation in pregnant women. And those were three things that the foundation and the community have identified as, as real problems in Brunswick County. Wow. And they sound like all three really good things. They are. <laughs> so how is it that you're involved with the Women's and Children's Wellness Outreach? So I've collaborated with the health department, the mm. pediatricians, and other wellness promoters. Mm -hmm. And together we're able to educate and give resources to members in the community based on those three initiative topics. Mm. We have an awesome um, health department here in Brunswick County. We really do. They do a phenomenal job in many areas I and I can't I, I can't give agree. them enough kudos for that and I, I just have to say that. On I the completely show agree. I think they are <laughs> awesome. So these three topics that you mentioned, childhood obesity, smoking and lack of knowledge about breastfeeding, are they very serious issues here in Brunswick County? They are. Um, less than two years ago, the breastfeeding rate at discharge from the hospital after someone has a baby was about 11%. Um, as of this last month, we are at almost 75% breastfeeding rates. And I wow. must kudos the education being done in the office, um, in the childbirth classes, and then with our nurses. Uh, childhood obesity in Brunswick County is at 32.7% wow. of children are That's obese. Sad. And then smoking is about 30% of the population. And then that, that is not just pregnant women, right. but that would include the pregnant women. So definitely all three are, are problems. So there's room for improvement. Definitely. Across those three <laughs> um, initiatives. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm curious, are there currently um, courses or programs that are part of the Women's and Children's Wellness Outreach? 
Um, yeah, starting with breastfeeding, that education is now starting in the office. I okay. work together with um, the director over there. At and the Novant Health OBGYN? Yes. Okay. So when they come in, when they find out they're pregnant, at mm -hmm. each office visit, mm -hmm. which is at least every month, right. they are given simple but quality tool, educational tools, so they can learn the benefits of breastfeeding and what to expect. Mm -hmm. And then that is reinforced in the childbirth classes and then really sent, the message gets sent home when they come to the hospital to have their baby. Um, we also have childbirth classes mm -hmm. um, the third Saturday of every month at oh. the hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, we just had a very large class this past Saturday. Did you really? We did. Um, as far as smoking cessation, we just ha started our first eight-week course. Yeah, um, I saw that advertised. January 14th, mm -hmm. and there's been great reviews. Um, and then as far as smoking cessation focused on the pregnant woman, what we are doing now is in the office, if they are identified as smokers, or in the hospital when they have their baby, if right. they're identified as smokers, we refer to the North Carolina Quit Line, mm -hmm. which is a confidential case management, and they work one-to-one -one with that person to come up with the best way mm -hmm. that they could be successful at stop smoking. Um, and then we plan on, stay tuned, we are going to have a women and children's um, wellness event either later this year or spring of next year oh. to really promote all of these topics and the wellness of Brunswick County. Oh, that sounds exciting. It does. Yeah. We're excited. How about in terms of childhood obesity? Do you go into the school systems or do you work with the school systems to address that? We do. We're working with the school systems and then Novant, we just had an innovation challenge which included a, many members from the schools. Um, members from the health department, mm -hmm. and we're really working together to try to find that piece of where we as the hospital and community organizations can work together, so definitely. Well, great information, Kelly. You're Thank just you. a wealth of information today. So tell me, how can our viewers uh, find out more information about the Women's and Children's Wellness Outreach Initiative? Well, I, they can call me on my direct line, and the number is 910 721 3038. 3038. I will be happy to speak with them and help any way I can. Well, that is awesome. So before we close, um, is there anything else that you would like to add? Um, make sure our viewers know about? I'm just, I'm really excited. I think we're, you're going to see a lot of education coming to the hospital mm -hmm. and out in the community. And I love that we are able to collaborate with all members of the mm -hmm. community, the health department, the pediatricians. So right. I think we have a great thing going. Well, good. I do, too. It sounds like an awesome, awesome initiative. So good luck with that. Thank you, June, for having and, me. Uh, you're quite welcome. And I hope you'll come back again and let us know how this initiative's going. I sure will. Thank great, you. Great, great. Well, thanks again for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you.